So if you're anything like me, you have this really great Sony camera, but it's really hard to vlog with because you don't have a flip out screen. So you don't know if your composition's right, you don't know if you're overexposed, underexposed, if your white balance is off, or maybe your audio is all jacked up. But today, I have a simple and affordable solution for you. Get ready, here it is. It's this little selfie mirror and it's amazing. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, I hope that you're doing really well today. My name is Zach Sopak and like I said, we have a simple and affordable solution to help turn your mirrorless camera without a flip screen into an ultimate vlogging setup. But before I get into that, I just wanna mention if this is your first time stopping in, welcome to the channel. And if you get value out of this video, go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button down below. And also consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon that way you can get notified every time I post a new video and with all that out of the way let's hop into talking about this awesome little setup so like I said in the intro if you're like me you've tried vlogging before on your Sony mirrorless cameras and you've just struggled with the fact that there is a lack of a flip screen on their cameras. Now some of the newer ones, like the new versions of the A6000 line have a nice flip up screen, but none of their full frame cameras have a flip up screen and none of their older versions of the A6000 line have a flip up screen, which a lot of people use those cameras still. And so it creates this big issue for people who wanna properly film themselves, whether they are vlogging, going around somewhere, or maybe you're just doing a talking head sort of office studio setup like what I'm doing right here. So traditionally, the answer has been, well, just use an external monitor and go over HDMI from your Sony camera, and then you can see yourself when you're filming yourself. But even though monitors are probably inexpensive as they've ever been right now, you're still gonna be out at least $120 regardless of which one you go with. There are certainly ones that are more expensive than that, but when you start to introduce monitors into the situation, that means you have to have more components with you whenever you're, you're gonna be filming yourself. You have to have, of course, the monitor itself, you have to have an HDMI cable, and then you have to have an extra battery or some way of powering it or there's just the simple situation of just vlogging without any sort of way to monitor yourself and you're just kind of shooting in the dark a little bit maybe you can kind of get an idea of what everything's gonna be like but you're just really kind of guessing by the time you have your camera out and in front of you and so there's all these different ways to go about it but I found a solution that I think is just brilliant I'm honestly kind of surprised that nobody thought of it sooner but I think it's a relatively new item and that's where we introduced this guy which is the UU rig selfie vlog mirror and what's really great about this is that it's an affordable option that solves all the problems that you would have for vlogging or for filming yourself now i saw this thing recently and i was kind of surprised like i said that nobody had come up with this as a solution before but it's only around $20, so I saw it and I was immediately like purchase, even though there was just a couple of reviews on the product. And so far, it's actually worked out really, really well. It's got an all plastic construction, so it's obviously not gonna be the most durable item when it comes to wear and tear if you're really beating it up, but it's a nice hard plastic that I feel pretty confident is not going to bend or break unless I put it under severe stress. The other thing too is that it just has simply a mirror and the way that you use it is you flip up the back side of your camera screen like the Sony cameras do have and what it does is reflects the image back to you so that way when you have the camera turned around you see the reflection of your little LCD screen on the back of your camera but without having to actually turn it around. And like I said, this solves a ton of the problems that people have trying to film themselves on these cameras. Now you can see your exposure, you can see your histograms, your white balance, you can even test your audio to make sure that you're not peaking or clipping or that you're sending too low of a signal. So it has absolutely changed the game for me when it comes to filming myself because I didn't really want to invest into a monitor right now. And so this is a nice 
inexpensive alternative that not only works in studio for things like this, but it also works for traveling and for vlogging without having to bring a bunch of different components with me. Another great feature of the UU Rig selfie mirror is that it fits right into the cold shoe of your camera. And not only that, but it provides three additional cold shoes on the top and on both sides. So that way you can still mount your lights, you can still mount your external microphone or anything else that you feel like you would want to add onto your camera. So cold shoe options are not going to be hindered at all. Now, one of the concerns that I had when I first purchased this item was I was concerned that it was going to be a little too ridiculous, way too over the top to have this little box sitting on top of my camera and then adding things in addition to it. But if you think of it like this, I use an external microphone for my audio and the one that I use happens to be relatively small, but adding in the mirror didn't really put things over the top like I thought it would. Uh, it was actually kind of nice. I was able to put the mic off to the side and so it didn't really take up any much more area than what the camera already has. So if that's a concern of yours, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Now, another plus about this UU rig mirror is that it's extremely affordable. Uh, I purchased mine on Amazon for around $20 and that's where it sits right now. And there's even a few knockoffs that you can get it for a little cheaper. I'll leave the links down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But I absolutely love when a company comes out with something that solves a problem and it's simple and it's affordable. So now that I've talked to you about some of the pros about this little setup, I wanna to talk to you about a few of the cons that I've noticed just in my use cases. The first is this, is that you're gonna find that whenever you have this thing hooked up to your camera, regardless of one of the smaller A6000 cameras or on the larger full frame cameras, is that you're probably going to have to remove the eyepiece from your camera because just with the way that the angle is in the mirror and the reflection from the screen, you don't get the full real estate. You don't really get to see all of the image on your screen because the eyepiece does block it from the angle that it's set up with. And then with that, you just need to keep in mind where do you keep your eyepieces at? Do you have to put that in your bag now or do you just leave it at home? Sometimes those things can be hard to keep track of because they're just small and they're these like black little items so they could easily get lost. So just keep that in mind whenever you're going to look into purchasing this item. Now, one other potential downside is that if you're in an environment that takes extremely bright and you're trying to see your image off of your screen bouncing up to that mirror and back to your eyes, you may have some trouble with that. If you own a Sony camera, you know that they're not the greatest LCD screens that you could have on the back of a camera. And part of that is that they're not extremely bright. So that's another thing that you have to keep in mind too. But even with those couple of cons, I still think this is a great simple little setup and it's something that I've been using lately and I've absolutely been loving it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I just love sharing value about little things like this that help to increase productivity or help to solve a problem for anybody who's trying to create. I hope that this some way helped to inspire you to maybe go out and start filming yourself some more. And hey, if you got value out of this video, why don't you go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. That way you get notified every single time I post a new video. All right. Go look at yourself in a mirror. <laughs> My name is Zach Sopak. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.